Hi friends, welcome to my channel Science Circle. Science Circle today will discuss about force. In this video, we will be discussing about what is force, what are the effects of force, about balanced and unbalanced force, the different types of forces with examples in our daily life and a small worksheet at the end. What is the stick man doing? Can you see in the first picture, he is pushing a box. And the second, what is he doing? He is pulling the box. A push or pull of an object is considered to be a force. In physics, a force can be defined as the push or pull on an object with mass causing it to change its velocity. Now we will be looking about what are the effects of force. So what can you see in the picture? A gentleman pushing and a ball is starting to rolling and lot many. A force can move an object from a rest or a stationary object. As you can see here, a ball started to roll with a gentle push. Similarly, a force of engine makes a stationary car also to move. Coming with the next one. Force can stop a moving object or it can slow it down. As we can see that when you lower the speed of your paddling, the cycle speed lowers down. If you put a brake, the speed of the cycle lowers down to zero. Similarly, in a football match, when a goalkeeper jumps to save the goal, he applies force to the moving football with his hands. Here, if we put the force, the object is coming to rest. Third point, it can also accelerate the speed of a moving object. As when you take a swing, someone just pushes you from the back. The speed increases. Same like here if the force is applied in the direction of the motion of the object, the speed will increase. On the other hand, if the force is applied in the direction opposite to the motion of the, then the speed will decrease. You have observed a ball when thrown upward, the speed goes on decreasing. But when a ball is falling from a great height, its speed increases. This is because of the force of the gravity is allowing it to fall downwards. The motion is applied in the same direction. Coming with the next point. Force can change the direction of an object. When we see a cricket match, a batsman hits the ball coming from the bowler and it gets a boundary. Or when we are playing a carom, the strikers changes the direction. So, here is the other point. As when force is applied, we can change the shape. For example, a spring, when we pull it, the size increases. Again, when we are leaving it, it regains its original size. Or when we are making a dough for a chapati, we are making the different round shapes of it. We are squeezing the wet clothes to take out the water. So these were the effects of force. Now we will be discussing about the units of force. We have seen previously the different ways how force is applied. So the SI unit of force is Newton. What is this? A Newton is a force which can make an object of 1 kilogram mass to move at a speed of 1 meter per second. Same like, it can also be represented in CGS system that is centimeter gram and second system as dyne. What is dyne? The force which is necessary to cause an acceleration of 1 centimeter per second in an object of mass of 1 gram. So, there is also a relation between the dyne and a newton as you can see that is 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne. We have seen till now force has magnitude as well as direction. So, what will happen here? That is two boys are pulling a person in a same direction. 
so here the resultant force acting on the object is equal to the sum of two forces so here the net force will be calculated yourself that is 900 newton now again if the two forces are applied if you are changing and seeing a picture in the opposite direction that is the net force acting on the object is equal to the difference between the two forces so if you calculate here the net force it will be 50 newton that is 500 minus 450 newton and also there will be a direction the direction will be on the left as the force was greater in that direction but if the force applied to an object are equal in magnitude and act at opposite direction, the net force on the object will be zero. Because if you subtract it, you will be getting zero. And there will be no movement here. Such type of uh, force is known as balanced force. So now you can understand about balanced and unbalanced force. For example, if we see a tug of wire between the two teams, they are pulling the rope in the opposite direction with their maximum forces. Now, if neither of them win, then the forces are balanced. But if the rope moves in any one direction, that is, a team wins, then the force applied by both the teams are known as unbalanced force. Did you know Sir Isaac Newton gave us the concept of force? He said that an object would be in its position either in a static state or moving state until and unless an external force is applied to it. What is the instrument used to measure force? Dynamometer is a device which is used to measure force acting on an object. Force gauge is also an instrument which is commonly used by the professionals to measure forces in various industrial and educational environment. Now we will be seeing about the types of forces. We divide force into two categories that is contact force and non-contact force. Let us start with the first that is the contact forces. As the name suggests you can understand a force which can be exerted by an object on another object only through physical touching is known as contact force. Contact force are two types that is muscular force and frictional force. Let us discuss with examples in our daily life. You can see a variety of picture where muscular energy is required. That is, muscular force can be applied to an object only when our body is in contact with the object. Muscles in our body expand and contract. For example, you can see the pictures. For writing, running, getting up to the stairs, for every cases we use the muscular energy. Same like, animals also use muscular energy for their physical activities. Our digestion, excretion, respiration are all the vital functions in our life are possible by the muscular forces applied in it. Now coming to the next type of contact force that is frictional force. You all know what is friction. Friction is a force that resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with the force of another. Example, as you can see the picture, so you can now relate why your car comes to a standstill if you do not press the accelerator. The frictional force is opposing the rotation of the wheels in your car. Try to roll a ball on a horizontal plane surface. What did you notice here? The ball slows down and eventually comes to a halt or stop. Why is the ball stopping and not moving in the same direction forever? The reason is the force applied by the surface on which it is moving and the direction of the opposite to the direction of the motion of the ball. So, as the ball was moving towards right, the force of friction was acting towards left. 
application of frictional force are many in our daily life friction also acts on fluids as we can see a boat is moving in a quiet lake the person has to row the boat continuously or else the boat will come to become a still at any place there also frictional force is functional between the surface of water and the boat now non contact forces that is when there is no physical contact between the object you have taken a magnet and there are some iron nails if you take the magnet closer to the iron nails what will you notice that even if the nails are not touched by the magnet the iron nails will cling to the magnet as you can see here the magnetic token of the ludos are attracting each other and are getting joined so here the force attracted by the magnet is called magnetic force and this force acts on iron object from a distance only that is even without touching it is applicable here so it is a non contact force we can see magnetic force of repulsion between the like poles of the magnet and force of attraction between the unlike poles of the two magnets so now can you tell me how stickers on the steel almira or refrigerator can be stuck without the glue yes you are right magnetic force is applicable here now can you see if a coin is slipping from your hand it falls down directly neither it is flying up in the air or moving to some other place or a fruit falling from a tree directly downwards the force with which the earth pulls the object towards itself it is called the force of gravity here also gravitational force of earth acts on the object from a distance without a physical contact between them did you know it is the gravitational force between the sun and the earth which holds the earth in its orbit around the sun now let's see another type of non contact force we have two balloons and they are tied with a light string did you feel any force when they are brought nearby no isn't it there is no special force acting now now if one balloon is wrapped on your hair vigorously or by a woolen fabric now let's observe the changes in the first case we will see hair is drawn to the balloon as the balloon is wrapped on your hair negative charges are formed on the surface meanwhile your hair gains the positive charge and thus they are attracted to the balloon again uncharged object will also feel the attraction as like in the case of oatmeal and in the third case the balloon will also get attracted towards the other balloon as one was uncharged so these examples explain us about the electrostatic charge so the rubbed balloon becomes a charged balloon now let's the rub the other balloon also with a woolen fabric so now both the balloons are charged let's see what happens when they are brought nearby oh no they are moving away from each other that is they are repelling each other so there is a force of attraction between a charged and uncharged body but there is a force of repulsion in both charged bodies so the electrostatic force can be exerted by a charge on another object from a distance so it is a non contact force so still now we have discussed about the two types of contact forces that is muscular force and frictional force and non contact forces we have read about electrostatic force gravitational force and magnetic force how do we express force the simplest formula to calculate force is equal to f equals to m multiplied by a 
where F stands for force, M stands for mass and E stands for acceleration. We will be learning about it in details in my other videos. So now it's time to answer the type of forces involved in the following cases. Answers will be provided in the description box. Pause the screen and try to find out where the force is applied in the different instances in our daily life. Take your time and do it correctly. Hope you can answer all the questions. Check out the answer before closing the video. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel before closing it. Hope you will like my video. And please do share my video if you like it. Thank you.